Hey everybody, what's going on? Welcome back to another LEGO Room update. Today we're going to be working on improving my studio space. Specifically, my parts, both sorted and unsorted. In order to properly do that, I've got to make some crazy changes to my studio space, which is right over here. So yeah, I'm actually going to be removing this larger table here and replacing it with some of the cabinets from over here, shifting everything around, getting some new bins, and just sort of making this place way better than it already is. So in order to make these changes, the first thing that I have to do is go upstairs and relocate my coffee. Now that that's taken care of, I've got to deconstruct this desk here. So TV, computer, everything on top has got to go. Holy, when I pull this desk away from the wall there, I realize how big it is. I went and specifically bought this desk when I made these changes, like when I installed the track shelving and moved the parts over here against this wall underneath the window. Because remember, the parts used to be right here. But then when I redid the changes, I was like, oh, I need a bigger desk. And here we are, removing the larger desk. It'll come in handy when I have a larger studio space in the future. Because this desk is sick. I would love to use this as my review desk, but there's just no space to wield it in this room. So these desks are called Leg Captain or something. Also Linman, that's the more common one. They can be supported by three different leg types. These ones here with the nice wheels, that's the name of them there. Also the Adil's legs and the adjustable Olaf legs. I bought these legs specifically for this desk setup as well. Once again, they'll come in handy in the future. With that out of the way, I can now move in the drawer units which of course are way over there and are rather difficult to access. Oh, this sucks. They can fit by these modified two by sixes, but not the ones that I installed. Oh, I'll have to lean them on their side, I guess. But doing that really isn't the end of the world. They're actually easier to move this way because they have the little feet, but when they're on their side, they just slide on the carpet. It seems strange to me though, that this one here with the large drawer is slightly taller than the other two. Maybe it's the carpet underneath, but I doubt it because that's a pretty big difference. Either way, I'm putting a table on top and we'll be able to make it work. Oh goodness. Ah, the next thing I have to do is remove the legs and also the leg like connectors with the screws from one of these tables here so I can top those drawer units. Oh look, there's both the other leg types I mentioned earlier. Olav and Adils. Definitely a much smaller desk, but it's going to be way better because the drawers are underneath. I know when I put my desk back right here, the one on wheels, it's going to block two sets of drawers. Even if I left align them so they're on the, this edge of the desk where my garbage can currently is, it's still going to block two sets of drawers. But I'm going to be putting overflow parts from here into Ziploc bags and into these drawers, I think. The plan could always change. But what's in here right now? <laughs> nothing, like quite literally nothing. Train stuff, chargers. There's one cable in here. Miscellaneous camera, a bunch of stuff that I don't even use. Cables, like there's nothing in these drawers because they were so hard to access underneath the city there. So I hope to turn them into something more useful like overflow parts, probably these two right here that are blocked by that table. And then this one here will be more important stuff that I access more commonly like base plates, right? Anyone need some roads? <laughs> Anyone need some crossroads? Cause I got lots of them. But yeah, I'll probably put base plates in there or road plates. This is just a literal mess. So yeah, I've got to go through and reallocate these. This is probably the most <laughs> useful drawer, the bag drawer. But yeah, I've got to go through and just like resort all of this stuff in conjunction with all the stuff that's in here and sort of consolidate it. Probably put all the utility stuff in there or maybe put all the utility stuff in this one and then have this overflow parts and that overflow parts. Just makes a lot more sense. And this is actually a nice little nook right here for the garbage can when it's not in use because it seems like this thing was always over here, over here, and in the way, but now it can just be tucked under here, sort of out of the way. And look at all the space right here. It opens this up, like, beautifully, right? I'm still going to make a change to this area right here as well. 
You see, it is unfortunate that you can't access those drawers. I could have drawers popping out this way, but two Alex units are not the same width as that desk. It is easy to move this desk, right? All right, now you can access the drawers. It's not difficult at all. Like I can do it with one hand. So it is what it is. I'm always moving this thing anyway. And this is actually where I film my reviews too. And the whole point of this change was to free up more space in here. So I have more space for doing reviews and it's easier to access these parts and to get us more storage space. So we've ticked all the boxes so far. I was thinking I might do this and I know a lot of people are gonna be like, I told you so. I might cut this shelf, maybe like a foot, just so it is easier to get in here. If I do that, then I don't necessarily have to move these, but actually I wanna move those because I wanted to switch the position of the silly heads. Actually, you know what? I might just be getting rid of the silly heads. Even if they're in that corner there, they're pretty darn silly. Like I should just get rid of them because they look ridiculous to tell you the truth. And to get to the bottom silly head is ridiculous as well. Like it's pointless and they don't really fit anywhere in the Lego room. I might just donate those I don't know, I'll have to figure that out, but I might just get rid of them and then I can actually put another stack of these drawers of this size, which I actually have, I think upstairs and in the garage, probably enough to make another stack. I could ship this whole unit over and put two stacks of them right there. That would be way better than having the silly heads and it would add a whole bunch of drawers to our system here so we can organize Lego in a better way. In order to move these, I have to take everything off that top shelf there and then I might be able to slide it all over. The issue is, is the shelf on the bottom, right? It needs to all move over. Oh, I'm being so lazy right now, but I know I could probably get it done in 20 minutes, so I may as well give her. You know what, a little hard work goes a long way. That looks so much better. I moved the small stack of drawers right there. They are a bit wobbly without the shelf being on top of them, what I'm going to do is just secure it to these. And when it's secure, then it's not going to do that. Probably do it midway. Just like, I don't know, tape, <laughs> packing tape. Boom. Just tape that there and it's perfect. Yeah. And then the silly heads in the corner there really aren't too bad either. There's actually two stacks of them. And I could just increase the back stack so it's taller. And that would actually hide them in the corner there. Not bad at all. Look how much space there is in here. I know it's still not much, but it's way better than what it was when we started this video. Still got a lot of stuff to do though, because when we moved those Alex units, it freed up all that space there. My plan is to shift these bins over there, and then we're gonna have this space available for some new bins that will host all of our unsorted Lego. Holy crap, look at the box I just found. This is from when we took the amusement park apart. I was running low on these. I honestly had no idea those would be in there. That's awesome. Tiles, trees, rock panels, go-kart track stuff, all sorts of stuff in here, including four by green plate, what? And also two by four green brick and tree limbs, a whole bag of them. No way. That's awesome. Those were uh, hidden behind the drawer units. And then I've got all this stuff here as well. I really should build some of this stuff. This was sent to me in fan mail. Like this is super cool. The puffing Billy, also this Oilers thing. I'm sorry, I just haven't got around to it. And this like tank, my gosh. Look at this, I was supposed to hang this thing in the Lego room a long time ago. The Millennium Falcon Light. <laughs> oh my gosh, I bought this a long time ago from Tony at the uh, Brickyard. Sorry, the Brick Bin. Yeah, I should build that too. Wow, okay. And when I was supposed to strap a GoPro to this thing and drive it around the city and I never did that either. This is just like a bin of stuff that I never got around to doing. Broken dreams. Oh, I'm just like so overwhelmed by the amount of like bulk and stuff that I have that's not dealt with. <sighs> I need to get it all dealt with and have everything built and have a clean slate 
and then not let it ever pile up again because it's on the back of my mind at all times it's exhausting I don't know why it just clutter has always bothered me <sighs> don't even get me started on my garage I need to do spring cleaning in there as well so now that this space is all open here we're gonna head out and do some container shopping I actually find myself at a place called Canadian Tire where they sell all sorts of containers so I'm just browsing the aisle here trying to find some that are gonna best suit our needs for all of our unsorted Lego I don't want to go with something too big because then it becomes really heavy so I've got to find the perfect container I think this is the perfect one I'll be able to fit nine of them in that space that I have They've got the latch lid, which is awesome. They're not too large. I think they're the perfect size. And also, they're the same brand as the drawers that I have, Sterilite. So I'm going to pick up nine of those. They just seem like the best option for storing our unsorted Lego. I don't know if it's just me being old, but I'm really excited about these containers. This container is similar, but it doesn't have a lid. I should do it two-handed. That would probably be smart. <laughs> but I'm going to transfer all my bulk into these new and improved containers. I'm going to retire! Woohoo! Gross. That's why these things need lids. That's nasty. There's a quarter round tile though. Booyah. Remember when I built this army? One container. Two container. Three container. Four. Four containers. Converted into one container. Okay, don't be alarmed by the next clip here. This is really gonna demonstrate why I'm stressed out and why I have to start dealing with things in an organized fashion. It's not really a bad problem to have, but when these things aren't dealt with, it becomes a bad problem. And believe me, I, I want all the stuff in the next clip like it's awesome this is what's going to help us build awesome stuff but when it's not organized and sorted and dealt with it becomes problematic <laughs> this is crazy i'm super stressed out about it oh my gosh holy cow everybody this is all of my unsorted stuff oh man there are bins upon bins upon bins and there's a lot of smaller bins and bags so now you can understand why i wanted to get new bins just because having 30 bins this size doesn't really make sense because one of the larger bins like this one here that we just bought can fit whatever four or five six of those into one bin so it's going to help me sort it and clean it and make it look like it's not as messy so this is just sort of like the before and now I'm going to go through and combine all these bins into our new bins and show you the after. But here's one more look at the before because it's pretty bad. Like there's a lot of stuff here, but a lot of good pieces, right? Like this one here came from my garage. I've got to deal with that. It is just a miscellaneous tub though. And this one here, I'm not even going to put in the new bins. I probably won't put the stuff from the garage and the new bins either because it's a lot of it isn't even lego right so it's got to be sorted before it goes into the bins and same with this one like it's just got to get all the stuff that's not lego out of here before it goes into my new lego bins right this one's awesome though <laughs> remember when i made the changes there's the rex celsior in there and also the rex explorer i accidentally dropped these so i've got to rebuild them have to part them all out and rebuild those sets because they are awesome. Look, they come with blue. There's blue. Where's his head? Where's his leg? Oh, no. My boy, Blue. You're my boy, Blue. I'm sorry, buddy. Look at this piece I just spotted. Boom. Bat signal. That's awesome. So many good pieces in here, honestly. One day, it'll all be sorted. But look, look everything you need, you know? Like, I have been searching for two by brick and plate for mills and tiles like 
This is all good stuff. Like, it's not garbage. Obviously, it's not garbage. It's good stuff. I need these. Like, I was just using these for my parts inventory, and I literally just ran out of these. So I just need to go through and sort all this stuff out. One day, it'll all be done. I want to try and get it done, like everything sorted, before I move to the new place. I think that would be a good plan, you know? Just go in there and have everything perfectly sorted. That would be awesome. So this is the base for Pirates of Barracuda Bay. And there's a bag of parts somewhere that go with it as well. That's the problem. When you convert the Pirates of Barracuda Bay set to the uh, Black Seas Barracuda, you've got like all of these spare parts in this big island that is sort of useless. I should almost convert it back to the Pirates of Barracuda Bay. Here's all the containers and boxes that I managed to get rid of. And it's essentially been reduced into that. So that's the nine containers that I bought from Canadian Tire earlier. So yeah, I know it just stores away the mess for now. And eventually it's all got to be dealt with and sorted, but it looks a lot better and is definitely going to be easier to manage this way. And I've actually left some on the right here that are the easiest ones to sort. So those will be the first ones I do just sort of go through and sort all this stuff. And then once everything is sorted, I'm going to use these containers for Ziploc bags full of excess parts. For example, I have too many of these, right? So this Ziploc bag would go in there, or I have too many of these. This Ziploc bag would go in there. And then the container that contains those parts, wow, I said container a lot in this vlog now, that contains those parts there, will have a sticky note on the bottom saying, more in bin number 12 or bin number six or whatever it is. And then this bag will go into bin number six. And then everything will be perfect and neatly organized and Everything will be in here, and then more of those same parts will either be in these drawers or in the larger containers down there underneath the tables. And I have decided that I'm going to remove all the stuff having to do with utilities out of here. Bags and stickers and camera equipment, train remotes and all that stuff, cables and cords, and I'm going to consolidate it all into this unit right here because it's literally more of the same. Like, that's my camera equipment drawer. That is bad. <laughs> that needs to be organized. And that's my cables drawer. <laughs> I hate cables. They just go everywhere. There's my camera charger, right? Like, uh, this stuff just has to be dealt with in a better way. And once that's all dealt with and those drawers are empty, then I can use them for awesome Lego stuff. So with all that said, of course, we're going to continue making all of these changes. I need to clean up that shelf. Ew, but before I do that, I actually have to set up my desk here for a whatnot stream because I've got those chocolate covered strawberry minifigures that we're going to be auctioning off today as well. So that's going to throw a monkey wrench into the day because I'm supposed to be cleaning up and putting everything away. And now I've got to haul out everything involved with that <laughs> and also set up another table. So I've got to clean up that table over there with all the campground trees and bring it over to my desk there bring out all my minifigures, which are in this room, and then set all that up, take care of that stream, bag all the minifigures, process all that stuff, clean it all up again, and then resume cleaning. <laughs> so I've got to make a big mess, clean it up, and then continue cleaning my even larger mess. Now I know this looks sort of weird, right? Like this desk should come further. But I was explaining to myself the other day, reasoning with myself that, hey, look, when you come in here, you want to be able to stand right here to access these part drawers. My leg is like right there, right? I'm standing right beside the garbage can, which is right beside that desk. So this is actually way better. Now I can actually crouch down here. There's way more room if I want to access the silly heads, which by the way, I found three more of <laughs> when I was cleaning up there, I can. So yeah, it does look strange, but it makes sense because you need that clearance to access those drawers. And I made this shelf a little bit better here. I've been meaning to modularize this for about three years. And I've been meaning to modularize this one here for about a year. And I've been meaning to put this one on a mills plate for about two years. <laughs> and then this is all minifigures that need to be reintegrated back into the city. I actually, I have a drawer for that. I could probably just put those in the drawer right there on the left in the black unit. Second drawer down, minifigures for the city. Mm-hmm. 
It's already pretty populated, though, I must say. There we go. I'm all set up for the stream. Didn't take too long, actually. Got all the minifigures, some cool foil bags, the chocolate-covered strawberries, mic and camera set up with the yellow backdrop, all of my minifigures. Hey, speaking of this wall, it's going to be revamped here relatively soon as well, just because I need a nice backdrop for reviewing sets. And I think a gray wall, just like nothing on it, just a gray wall would be great. You know what I mean? Provide a nice contrast for reviewing sets. I think it'd be sweet. I also review sets over here, right, with the parts as the background, but sometimes that's a little bit too colorful and it takes away from the set. I would like a white background, but there's currently no white space in this Lego room. It's jammed. Then I've got some other stuff down there as well that I'll probably be auctioning off during the stream, but not a bad little setup there. Pretty easy to put up and take down. So when it comes to sorting Lego, specifically how much Lego I have, everything takes time and everything is a process. Eventually I'm going to uh, dump these out onto some painter's poly so I can sift out all the garbage and all the non-Lego stuff. And then I'll clean it probably in my bathtub or a kiddie pool if it's summertime when I get around to doing that. But uh, the stuff that we did do today looks really good. The parts, way better. Those silly heads no longer photobombing. The uh, narrow part drawers, which I still need to secure on the left side there, way better. Also freed up all these bins right here. Those are going to allow us to sort our part drawers. Probably have four per bin like that or four per drawer, sorry. Look way better, right? So eventually I'll get around to integrating all that and better sorting the parts there. And also I uh, sorted these out. So the supplies are up top here now. That looks a lot better. This is train stuff, a bag full of stickers, some LED lights. Could probably use those in the underwater area. Forgot that I had those to tell you the truth. Just some other stuff, my tablet, my turntable, battery chargers, the clock, which I don't use currently for some reason. You know it's 612 now when I'm filming this. No lying there. <laughs> cables I can't uh, do anything with. I can't really clean up a drawer of cables. They're just cables. I don't know how you make those neat and tidy. You just don't. Film equipment, I just have way too much of it. And I don't know how I can better sort it. It's not like I can't find what I need. So that's just what it is, I guess. And then down here, I've got some cleaning stuff. Just lint rollers and alcohol wipes and my knee pads. Oh, my little vacuum and makeup brushes and stuff. And then I started organizing over here as well. It's not nearly done, nor is it really started, I guess. Just put some parts in there. See that? It's crazy, hey? Just miscellaneous parts and bags. Oh, and drawer full of bags, base plates, parts. This will get refined eventually, more cables. And yeah, this will be way better in the future. This one can actually fit pab cups standing up, so that's convenient. So you have to go through here. It's all empty, ready for a new system, which is awesome. And then we got the silly heads. This is looking a little bit better, decluttered. And then under here is a million times better. Like that is awesome. Still got to do some refining over there. Most of the parts in there, like train track, like there is a ton of train track in here. It's fairly sorted. I mean, not much more I can do there. Curves are with curves and flexies are with flexies. This is literally a drawer of studs organized by color. Then two by brick over here. Some vehicles that can be integrated into the city and some minifigures that can be integrated into the city. And then just some bigger stuff that, once again, needs to be dealt with. I can build another passenger car for my uh, high-speed passenger train. More track and all that. Big bulk stuff that just needs to be better sorted. What is that? Oh, goodness. It's not even... Let's not uh, remember that we looked in there. How's that sound? Yeah, look at those, though. Those look fantastic. You know what's another positive from these changes? Is now when you look this way, you no longer see those bins. Which is great because they were an eyesore. Even when you just walked by and you saw them, 
Like, that's brutal. And under there now, it's covered in dog hair. I can grab my vacuum and I guess my broom and go under there and get rid of all the dog hair and all the loose parts too. So that's looking way better. I know it's not done and I know it's still sort of a disaster, but heck, look where we were at the beginning of this vlog and look where we are now. So absolutely fantastic, everybody. Let me know what you think by commenting below. I think the new system's pretty awesome and I can't wait to improve it even further. Remember, like, subscribe, and stay tuned for some more great stuff. And farewell.